Cigarette smokers and sugary drink enthusiasts alike will feel the effects of Budget 2018. Minister for Finance, Pascal Donahue, announced on Tuesday that there will be a 30 cent increase on sugary drinks starting in April. Starting immediately, there will be a 50 cent increase in cigarettes. DCU TV asked students how this will affect their lives. Um, I think it's good because it just stops younger people smoking. I think the older generation who are going to keep smoking, you know, there's no, no going back there. But uh, it will stop young, younger people smoking, and that's positive. Well, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, the cigarette tax is about the only thing that I pay, uh, pay attention to in the budget. That might be a little bit narrow minded, but I went to the spa yesterday and I asked for Marlboro Touch, which are usually the only cigarettes that are under 10 euro. <laughs> They're usually 980 and your mangoes. 10 30 please. And I was like, what? <laughs> 50 p extra. So I was like, okay, it's time to give up. I think it's a great thing. You know, people that smoke, they should have to pay more. Just the. Uh, disencourage people to smoke and if they smoke they should have to pay more I think. I'm from France and like compared to here it's really cheap like here the pack is like 12 euros and in France it's 6 euros or 7 euros so to me it's a little bit complicated and what I do actually is when a friend of mine go back to France I ask that friend can you take cigarette with you when you go back to Ireland so yeah no I'm not really happy with that the taxes. Ireland is now the second most expensive European country to buy cigarettes. Prices in premium packs of cigarettes have broken the 12 euro barrier. Along with the 30 cent per liter hike in sugar drink costs, there will be a reduced rate of 20 cents per liter on drinks with between 5 grams and 8 grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. The Irish Heart Foundation said the new tax was a landmark day in the fight against obesity. I'm Kyle Ewald and this is DCU TV News.